Well, let's try to understand how this transition to digital, terrestrial, television broadcasting, or DTTB, is going to take place and what this uh, all means in this entire debate. Joining us now via Zoom, the co-founder of DTV Pilipinas, Patrick Chin. DTV Pilipinas is an advocacy group involved in the transition from analog to digital TV. Good evening, Patrick. Welcome to Newsnight. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Patrick, you know, there's so many questions and, well, misconceptions you know, about the uh, 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 channel, the, you know, the words channel, frequency, multiple channels using a single frequency, etc. Fiktap arguing that um, a franchise allows the airing of only uh, uh, one, you know, the, the use of the frequency of the channel, etc. Now, can you explain things to us within the context of our transition, a very delayed transition, hindi ba? <laughs> from analog <laughs> to, to digital? Mm -hmm. What is ha happening here and why are there so many misconceptions? Okay, at first, digital TV has uh, can carry multiple services in one frequency. Ang, uh, ang usapan kasi dito uh, is uh, in the franchise, no? You can you can have one frequency for broadcasting for broadcasting. Now, in digital TV, you can have multiple services in one frequency. Uh, kung makikita ninyo sa isang uh, uh, channel, yung what is channel, by the way, or uh, isang channel po dito is isang 6 megahertz bandwidth sa TV frequency. So, yun po yung isang channel. Now, this. Uh, pag ano natin sa digital TV to, we, uh, kasi we are using the Japanese standard, which is ISDBT or Integrated Services Digital Broadcasting Terrestrial. Pero in other uh, mm -hmm. features ng digital TV, kaya naman to. Anyway, dito sa, ano, sa digital TV, no? uh, for example, uh, in, if you have any services na standard definition, kaya isiksik yan about eight, chan uh, eight programs. So yung channel dito, yung programs mismo. So in one channel, you got 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, up to 1.8 for standard definition. For high definition, you can have up to 3. So 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. So yun yung mga programs na kaya isalpak sa digital TV. Okay. So, uh, pa Patrick, so in other words, yung mga argumento no, laban sa ABS-CBN, uh, for example, FICTAP is... is uh, uh, using that argument against uh, ABS. In other words, walang walang say say, walang uh, uh, it cannot be explained in the context of this transition from analog to digital. Is that it? Yeah, for me, I think in the because in a technical sense, all broadcasters who have DTT licenses can broadcast multiple programs in under one frequency. That's according to NTC Memorandum Circular 07-12-2014. Actually, advantage yan dahil kasi mas maraming uh, mapagpipili ang program sa digital TV. So, for example, si Network A, mm -hmm. gusto magsalpak ng uh, isang program about lifestyle, si, uh, pwedeng magsalpak ng program B dito ng, for example, sports. And dyan ang ano ng digital TV uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Patrick, um, itong ano, transition from analog to digital, you were explaining it uh, in television terms, no? and then frequency, yes. bandwidth, megahertz, yes. ganon. Can you explain it to us in, and, and I don't know kung tama ito, no? yung, di ba dati, ngayon kasi meron tayong mga rotary phone, ah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, smartphone. <laughs> Hello, but yeah. yung sinasabi ko, smartphone, di ba? Bago yes. yon in the 1960s, 70s, meron tayong yung tinatawag na rotary phone, di ba? Pero baka yes. hindi mo naabutan yan, baka hindi ka pa pinapaanak. Wait, Pero, naabutan ko yun, yun yung, naabutan ko yun yung in, in, umiikot pa yung... Ah, naabutan mo, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yung umiikot pang gano'n, no? tapos kailangan bumalik yes. bago... Yes, tapos bumalik. yung antena, ginagano'n mo pa. Pero, yeah. uh, so yun, yun yung analog to digital, tama? Pa para yes. lang ma... It's, it's clearer. Let, let's make the argument even clearer. Sige, yeah. go ahead. Kasi in analog kasi, you can only have one program per channel. Kasi yun yung kaya ng ano eh, ng analog eh. It's a decades old technology na. Now in digital, you can sa remote control pipindot ka na lang ng for example 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Sa isang frequency na yon, kaysa sa analog na iisa lang yung channel mo, sa digital, pwede mo masiksik niya nga. Eight standard definition channels or three high definition channels. Mm -hmm. So, 
mas marami okay, kang okay. maglagay. Okay, final question na lang, Patrick, na parang sure. pang final words mo, no? So, it is uh, the, uh, misconceptions about uh, the transition from analog to digital, which in a way slows down the progress of the country, right? Kung baga, paano tayo uunlad kung hindi natin naiintindihan yung transition mula analog to digital at kung bakit kailangan mag-digital tayo. Tama ba? Yes. Well, that that's uh, what DTV Philippines is for, no? Kami, we uh, advocate digital television. We inform people about the migration kung uh, uh, from uh, from analog to digital tapos doon makikita yung uh, kung may problema yung isang network, we can tell them or for example, may suggestion si audience to that network, pwede namin ibigay sa network. In the sense na kailang, for example, pag kailangan maintindihan talaga ng uh, tao yung uh, uh, trend from analog to digital, nandyan kami. And uh, we are ready to answer any questions for uh, kung ano mangyayari sa digital. We're here to help. All right. All right. Patrick Chin of DTV Pilipinas. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. When we